How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to The Day the Dinosaurs Died, Minute by Minute by In a Nutshell. Alright, so I'm getting a couple couple of uh, In a Nutshell video requests here and there, and I'm like, might as well make a Kurtzdegat. I'm still gonna try, even though I say it wrong every time, but why not do a Kurtzdegat week? And I really, really want to, because there's like, I know at least three videos I haven't seen, like the newer videos I haven't seen. There's like a lot back catalog that I haven't yet to see. So yeah, I just thought, let's make a Kurtzdegat week. I feel like I used to do that a long time, not a long time ago, like a year or two ago. Like I just dedicate a week to something and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go back to it or not, but uh, this week I am. So yeah, so on to this video. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I'm not trying to be like a smart, big brain guy or nothing like that. Like trying to say, oh, I know everything I, I look at. Like, no, no, I'm not. I'm not even gonna try to act like I'm smart. But uh, like, I always thought they weren't 100% for sure. Like, they always kind of thought like, oh, an asteroid hit, cool. And then the ice age. But like, I thought it was kind of like more, more of a theory than an absolute. So like, I'm very interested to see how this video plays out. And like, I'm pretty sure there's like, this is a newer video. So obviously like the scientific information and stuff like that has been out there that dinosaurs are more likely to have feathers than scales. And that's really, really interesting to me. Like I, I look at chickens and stuff like that, like a, a completely different, because if you look at their feet, legitimately looks like a dinosaur. So I've been talking way too much about this random stuff. So without any further ado, here is the day the dinosaurs died. One of the greatest illusions alone. is continuity. 66 right? million years ago, the continuity of the dinosaurs had Hello. been going on for around 165 million years already. And it didn't seem this would change anytime soon. The world was warm. Like babies are usually adorable, but the land was covered with lush that's forests cutting. and an incredible diversity of trees, flowers, ferns, and trillions of critters. Dinosaurs. Dragonfly landed critters, on me today. That's kind of funny. Seeing a dragonfly. Of species of all shapes and sizes. I don't like your tongue, man. Oh, <laughs> I love them, man. With famous beasts like Tyrannosaurus rex or Edmontosaurus. Pectinodon hunted in the undergrowth while Edmontosaurus wandered coastlines and swamps. An ancient paradise. A oh, this is beautiful. Empty, and then it's going to blow up here in a little bit, isn't it? 66 million years ago, maybe on a Tuesday afternoon, maybe. life was the same as Perhaps. it had been the day before, or a thousand years before. you going to make me feel bad about the dinosaurs. Things Probably. were good for our feathered dinosaur buddies. And he said feathered. Tiny, tiny detail in the sky changed. I don't think it was tiny. <laughs> I don't think it was tiny, man. What was the monkey holding? I missed it. It looked like a planet or something. I'm not sure. I wanted to say a croissant, but I don't think if that's right. Dinosaurs are watching the stars. <laughs> what the is that? They may have noticed the appearance of a new star, a tiny dot that for many weeks slowly became bigger and brighter. It's like a ah oh, that Zelda day, game. A uh, mm, oh. small moon in the night sky, and then it faded from sight as it dipped into Earth's shadow. For a few more hours, the illusion of continuity was upheld until Bro. it was not anymore. J I know they're like dinosaurs, but the sense of dread, like now, if I was going through that, I just see that thing. And growing every moment, heading for the coast near the Yucatan Peninsula. It Yucatan? takes the asteroid only seconds to pass through the thin layer between space and the ground to make contact. As it enters the atmosphere, but it'd burn up, right? 60 times the speed of sound. Let's stop time. Here, oh. you see the unnamed asteroid about to commit speciesicide. Larger than Mount Everest, it reaches from the okay, ocean yeah, that's high big. into the atmosphere, higher than passenger planes would fly millions of years later. At this moment, the world was one way. In a fraction of a second, oh. it would be fundamentally different. Oh, look at the dead Let's one! The transition. As the asteroid hits the shallow ocean and the bedrock That's below, so unsettling, the it's just there. Millions of nuclear weapons is released all at once as the asteroid vaporizes. They literally just got vaporized. Light illuminates the sky. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking what would happen, but over the Gulf of Mexico. Didn't really give it much thought. Bedrock melts into seething hot plasma at tens of thousands of degrees Celsius. 
The thermal radiation from the explosion travels God. at the speed of light and immediately burns everything within a radius of about 1,500 kilometers, while the energy from the impact pushes so hard against Earth's crust that it loses all strength and flows away from the impact site like a liquid, creating a hole 25 kilometers deep and 100 kilometers wide. The ocean Dang. is pushed back for hundreds of kilometers, like when a kid jumps into a puddle. It's just As evaporating it, man. Back, melted and flowing oh. crust forms a temporary mountain stretching 10 kilometers into the sky. An incredible amount of material is blasted into the higher atmosphere or even out into space as much as 60 times the original mass. I thought that was fake, like dinosaur bones on the moon. Is that real? Strike is felt everywhere on Earth within minutes. Possibility, I guess. Everything's a possibility. A magnitude 11 earthquake may be the most powerful quake any living thing has ever witnessed in billions of years. Tell that to The Rock. It is so insanely strong. You seen the San Andreas movie? <laughs> it might have shaken gigantic lava fields and causes I was going to say did it make volcanoes, but I didn't want to sound dumb. Years and cover half of the said. Indian subcontinent with lava. Even on the side of no! Earth, the impact, the ground it's like that Jurassic World movie meters. all over again. Nobody would so sad. This day, the gigantic explosion crashes. He probably didn't even die instantly either. violence and causes a shock wave that reaches speeds of more than you better get out there. kilometers per hour near the site of impact, similar Bro. to the famous hurricanes on gas giants like Neptune. In middle America, basically any soil, vegetation, or animal is just shredded into pieces and catapulted thousands oh. of kilometers away. Now, the previously displaced oceans return. As the temporary mountain at the site of impact collapses, a ring of tsunamis as high as We're one kilometer, good. enough to cover all skyscrapers humans would ever build, Bro. heads in all directions. As they crash into the coasts of the continents Ooh. surrounding the Every impact, time I see a dead dinosaur, man, just gets to me. kilometers of coastline. Fifteen hours later, some of the fifteen waves hours later, South America will still tower as much as one hundred meters into the sky. But we still killed an entire species. I don't know why I'm shocked. Like a lot of the debris, it's still into very space, mind blowing. Orbit Earth for thousands of years. Some may hit the Moon or even Mars. But Mars comes right back. What? When things fall through the atmosphere at such speeds, they get very okay, hot, as in hundreds of degrees hot. Starting to piece it together. To millions of tons of material everywhere. This rapidly heats up the atmosphere to insane temperatures. We don't know exactly how hot it got or how long this. Okay, making sure lasted, you don't die on screen. But there are two ideas here. Either the air was heated to hundreds of degrees for a few minutes, or two. So don't even bother make a freaking around one minute. fire. In any case, the air became as hot as the Stop! industrial oven. That is depressing. How bad the global effects of this it's like there's a, a dead kid trying to crawl to it. Surface, a lot of plants and animals would have died very quickly if they couldn't bury themselves or escape into caves. The heat, together with raining debris, also may have ignited material on forest floors and sparked wildfires as the earth rotated under the searing hot plume. It's just a, few hours, a cloud of death, man! Fires were probably burning around the globe. Some of them may have lasted for months and turned Earth into a horrifying, hot, hellish version of It's like freaking Darkseid's planet from DC Comics. Apocalypse? End, many of the dinosaurs are already dead, but the worst is still to come. There's a dead the dead guy still. The gigantic plume of vaporized material Clue. reaches the upper Clue. atmosphere and spreads around the whole globe. Together with the soot from the burning planet, and the aerosols generated at impact, the planet sinks into a I didn't think darkness, about that. With only it's just, the remaining raging fires just in all the smoke the just covers the earth. Whatever plants survive the atmosphere kind of keeps it. Will now be starved for sunlight as global photosynthesis oh, is temporarily no. shut down. Within days, temperatures crash as much as 25 degrees Celsius. The oceans were especially hard hit. The lack of sunlight killed over 90% of plankton, which formed the basis of the food web of marine life. Ultimately, this would kill off Even the, the sea. marine reptiles I mean, and ammonites. They're extinct the now, so I don't know why I'm so... I keep saying the that. The but... the survivors now find themselves in is like an alien landscape. Ash, debris, and the burned what? remains of the formerly lush and blooming life cover the ground. The sky is dark and it's cold and fresh food is scarce while fungi thrive. Oh. For months and years, fungi? I thought it was the fungi. will be a hostile and deadly place. The sudden global winter will last for decades. 
at least 75 the percent of all species on Earth will just vanish from existence. Just gone. And so, Thanos. as the day ends, ah, the this is better than Thanos. He did 75 percent. Thanos only did half. The that went on for millions of years is just no gone. More. That's the oh, era man. of the dinosaurs is over, just like that. Eventually, from the ashes so of the old sad. world, survivors emerged. Ayo. Birds that are the direct descendants of the dinosaurs and mammals that would eventually become the dominant animals on the planet. Okay. Without the asteroid, who knows what life on Earth would look like today. Without the sudden disruption of dinosaur continuity that completely changed the planet and all life on it, we might have never had the opportunity to become what we are today. That really makes you think, man. It's not clear how the butterfly effect comes into effect. Last. So far, modern humans have been around for 0.1% of the time the dinosaurs were. Just putting this, this into compare like time, actually in front of me information is so mind-blowing. To reaching space and splitting the atom. Yet our future <clears throat> and our long-term survival are not a given. If we're not careful, it could end in an instant like the age of the dinosaurs that is ended. so true but in contrast to them we know that our continuity is fragile even if it doesn't feel like it we can Got one. be prepared and be vigilant and hopeful if we're lucky our journey will go on for a long long time got some feel good at the end there journeys, i like that want to address something in the spirit of transparency Yes. Kotskazakt has changed in the last two years. We've become more than a YouTube channel or animation studio. And hey, oh, also he's alive! A paper shop that sells hundreds of thousands of to bring my ducky. posters and notebooks. Sit him on my head. Can That's you see him? not a happy accident. Many of us have a background in graphic design. Yeah. Paper products are our roots, and yeah. we actually started out creating posters, books, and print infographics. We love that you can touch them, smell them, nerd about small details, and, and I never smelt my duck before. Just like <laughs> small never had the reason to. Great ambition. Step by step, we found the right printers and papers, learned about shipping, and expanded our shop. That's what we life's all about, man. Improve. Research, love and hours into it, because this is the only way we know how to do things. We don't just want to make generic merch. That's we cool. Want to make things that fit our mission of making science exciting and creating beautiful things. Okay. Things that persist and are made with high quality. I need to stop watching his like. He's really good at selling stuff. Like. <laughs> and as a nice Every time I watch the ending of him, I'm just like, I really want that. For everything we do on this channel, which also keeps us independent and our videos free for everyone. Nice. So, we want to build further on that and create more things that last. We've just started a new notebook line called That's Pocket a Log, very the weird dinosaur, man. Future. The first Got edition that is a dinosaur neck. themed collection that will hopefully serve a future paleontologist well. There are loads of plans for sciencey stuff, more nice. journals and calendars and infographics. Let us know what you would like us to make for your room, kids, classrooms and yourself well, that's cool man. in the end the things we do work because you like them and because you enable us to put thousands of hours into videos and hundreds of hours into posters and journals thank you so much for that oh, we're looking forward to making stop. fun sciencey stuff for you no matter that's if awesome. it's a video a poster or something else entirely like a pleasure thank you for watching thank you for being there seriously i love this channel so much i learn so much but all right, like always, like every single in a nutshell video, like very, very informative. And uh, it, the ending kind of got me thinking, like, I'll talk about the main video in a second, but the very, very end got me thinking, like, they were like, let us know what you think. I really think, like, having a daughter of my own and stuff, like, if they have, like, a kid's channel, that would be really, really cool. Because in all honesty, I'm learning a lot more just through this little, uh, not little anymore, but this YouTube channel, I'm learning a hell of a lot more than I am when I did at school. Like, this is actually entertaining. Like, I really, really enjoy this. And then at school, they're just like, oh, turn to page 45. Like, that's not exciting at all. Like, for a kid to soak up this information and stuff. Like, if they have, like, a kid's channel, that would be really, really dope. Like, simplify it even more just into bite-sized little chunks. Like, for a kid, it's just like... Hey, here's like, here's how photosynthesis works and stuff like that. Like, that would be very, 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 very cool. So on to the rest of this video, like, it really makes you think, like, legitimately makes you think. And 
I never thought about that. Like, of course, like passing through, it's like, oh, like that would be cool if like dinosaurs were here and stuff like, like just like mild talking to like just a friend or something. Like you kind of casually talk about it, but you don't actually like dive into the actual subject and stuff. And it's really, really interesting to see all this information like out on screen for you. And like, sometimes they compare numbers and stuff like that. And like the scaling of size, like with the black hole one, like it's just very, very awesome how like, they help you comprehend it, and I really, really respect this channel for it. It's just really, really cool, and I don't know why I'm geeking out so much about the channel, like, in this video. Like, I should do it in, like, every video, but, yeah, it's just something about this video. Like, it, it was probably the ending that got to me. They were all like, thank you for being a watcher and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, stop. Like, that's how you get to me. Just praise me, and I'm like, no, I don't deserve it. Like, <laughs> Yeah, like, all in all, this was a very, very enjoyable video. I loved it so much. And thank you for the people that suggested this one to me. There wasn't as much as the one as the immune system, but still, there was a couple of them in there that wanted me to do this one. But don't worry, I'll do the next two this week. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later, days.